Uh, so this guy came in who emailed me and said that he, the other day he faked fluency and he was really excited about that because the name of the site is faking fluency. So what he did was he had drilled one of the sentences in these dialogues, I, mean, I don't know how many times, many times I'm sure. And uh, I'm sure it was something about ordering coffee. And so he went to a cafe and he ordered using whatever one of these sentences and they, they understood and he gave, he got whatever he asked for and they didn't make any faces or ask him what he meant. They gave him his drink and then he was like pretty excited. And then they said a bunch of other stuff and he didn't understand a word. <laughs> but, but he was so excited that, the, that he said a sentence that he had practiced and it, it worked as intended. Right. Which is the whole point is faking fluency is, means that you're drilling sentences that people say every day so that you can go out and use them in real life. Even though you, of course, in the beginning, you won't understand the, the response right away, but, you, but people will talk to you like a normal person if you say their sentences instead of the garbage that you pull out of a phrase book or the sentence that you've made in your own head based on your own language, which is always going to be wrong. And is there a default like five times, ten times, twenty times, uh, you know, or is it how up many, to the person how, themselves? What, how, well, yeah, it depends on, it, it depends on a million factors. Yeah. It may take you a hundred times, it may take you twenty times. And, but the thing is, after you've gotten 10, 20, 30 sentences under your belt, you'll start to get an idea of what works for you. Yeah, yeah. And then you can practice a sentence maybe for just a day or two, or maybe less. Maybe you can sit down for 20 minutes and drill a sentence and then try to go to a cafe uh. or go talk to your friend and use that sentence right away without any context. Just shoot it out with them. And, and you'll find that this works. People will be like, they'll just answer your question like a normal human being instead of going through the, like, them trying to work out what you just said because your pronunciation was so bad or, or you've made up some sentence that they would never say so it sounds weird, like, oh, my shirt's on outside in or something. And confidence yeah. builds confidence, right? So well, that's the other thing is that you're building, you're building up confidence. If you go in and, and order something and they just give it to you, it's such a different feeling than, like, the whole, like, uh, uh, like you're worried if you're saying it right and you're worried if they understand. But here you go in a sentence, you say a sentence, and they just do it. Like you go and ask a question and they answer it. That's what you want. That's what you should be working towards. So if you can do that from the first day or a couple days or a week of studying language, it changes everything. So when, when you uh, master a sentence, then you put it into a special group, right? You, you say, okay, I've got that sentence. That's good. Well, if you see a sentence you like, yeah, you can save a, you can save a sentence. Right, and then save you, it, save it into a, uh, any, uh, a dumb, like if for sentences that you want to remember, you can pull it into a sentence, like a, into basically a sentence flashcard. You can star it like you would star something in Gmail and then you can review those, those sentences individually instead of outside of, outside of context if you want. Right. But ultimately if you, if you spend, you can spend five, 10 minutes a day on this and within a month or two, you'll have accumulated 20, 30, 40, 50 or a hundred sentences that you'll kind of know. And some of them we'll know better than others, but then the ones you want, you spend more time on and then you go use them on people. Yeah. And what I'd like is that when you start studying a language, once you get comfortable with the sounds a little bit, you learn how to say a sentence correctly and at speed, and then you go out and you shoot it off at somebody and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. And when it works, you'll get this, this, this supercharge that makes you want to go do it again. Of course you won't understand and you'll have like a little bit of a panic attack, but it doesn't matter because you know that you'll, you'll, you'll realize that the answer, like a lot of these questions will have a, a finite number of answers. And once you've heard them all a few times, you'll start to pick them apart and you'll realize what they're, they're saying. It won't happen right away. But if you're asking a question like, did you eat yet? And there's only a couple possible answers, right? So even if you don't understand all the words, you'll still know what they're saying. Mm. And that allows you to sort of fake it, which is why I call it faking fluency is because the whole point is to just fake it. Whether or not you get fluent, it's up to you. It takes a long time to get truly fluent in a language. But, but you can personalize it, right? But you can, you, can, you, can, you can get conversational much faster got, than people think. You got play, English, or Thai. Right, you can, next. Get, you can get a rough translation of the, uh, right. the sentence. Next, just move on to the next one. And this is kind of, there's a flashcard system that I built. Hard, okay, means, hard means you don't know too well, so yeah. it'll be a little bit longer before you see it again. Okay, just moves it up to the next interval, which in the beginning is like one day, three days, five, right, seven right. days, something like that. If, and then this one? Easy means you, you know pretty well, so it, it makes the interval longer before it shows up again for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, it yeah. increases it like 150%. Right, okay, thanks. Thanks for that, fakingfluency.com. Yeah.